Good evening. My name is Andrea Ramirez. This is Global Marketing and Strategic Networking Week 5 Video Commentary Discussion on Global Village in the Digital Age. This week we focus on Rethinking How Technology Shapes Our World by Ramesh. And I believe his intent was to share with us the evolution of technology in chapter one and in chapter two was to discuss the disparities in different parts of the world. I believe Ramesh's goal was to share various points in how technology is perceived. Some people are for it, others aren't, um, but they also share very important information as to how technology has indeed evolved and um, that includes, you know, by way of communication, interaction, learning, so many different things that we can gather from it, um, information as well. And that is, that covers chapter one. Chapter two was the disparities in different uh, countries, different parts of the world, where we understand that in the third world countries, they don't have access to this type of, of uh, technology information um, and it shares the disparities uh, with that. I believe the chapter that resonated with me the most is where it shares how the data has evolved or how the use of technology has evolved. There's one particular key term that really stood out to me, which was where it's mentioned about um, scientific truths, but also um, it, it's under internet histories, how the information is stored there's um, some information where um, it is argued that computing technologies do differ from storage technologies, which I thought was extremely interesting. Um, some are precise measurements of um, of mathematical precision, precision uh, approximation and the distinctive value systems and practices within. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting. The other thing that I found interesting is uh, again going back to chapter one, the evolution of the technology um, and as it relates to the computing, computing archiving and technique, um, and also the histories in the cloud. We were once at one point saving information and in, uh, storing storing it in our on our on our uh, laptops on our desktops. Uh, as to where now we're storing the information on the cloud. Um, that was one thing that really stood out to me um, because it poses a question as to where will we be in five, 10 years from today? How will we communicate the evolution of technology in five, 10 years? Um, I find it extremely intriguing um, I know right now, you know, there's talks about um, AI. That That's something that really interests me. And um, though it is a little scary, I do, you know, wonder what it'll be like. So that's all I have for you today. I look forward to your feedback and would like to hear your thoughts. Thank you.